When all my slots are empty, you better fill me up. I smile for joy. When hey, everybody, it's Jason Coleman. Welcome to the Bowling for Meatloaf podcast. Wait, that's tomorrow. <clears throat> Everybody, this is Jason Cohen. Welcome to Bev Nerd Video Podcast, your favorite video podcast for your soft drink and snack food reviews and things of that nature. I'm your host, Jason Coleman. This is episode 15 for May 20th, 2010. Today we'll be trying drinks and snacks, just like we always do. Uh, not a whole lot of news. Got some more subscribers on iTunes, but no more star ratings. Come on, guys, star ratings. And the YouTube community is growing, and I appreciate that. Facebook fan page growing a little stagnant but it's, it's it's on the rise i appreciate each and every one of you ladies and gentlemen out there um uh thank you to not just cereal company for uh, the positive uh, feedback on the last episode plus plug in my show thank you thank you if you love me a lot you would send me all your flavors so i could review them all at once in a big pool i'd be like scrooge mcduck and just dive all into your cereal and eat them and i will be happy with that <clears throat> but I was going to do something totally um, different tonight on the podcast. I was going to try a certain drink that I bought, but I think I accidentally dr uh, bought the diet or light version of the drink. I need to go back and check and see if there's a full flavored or if that's what it is. I want to try that one first before I try the diet, of course. So, impulse buy number one today is our drink of the day, and this is Peace Iced Tea. It's jumbo -normous. Um, it was only 99 cents at the gas station and had some really, really kick butt artwork on the can. Um, I don't know if this is really going to look super amazing on my camera, but just Google it. It's pretty sweet. Peace, peaceicetea.com. Um, so that was my total impulse buy today. I saw, I've been seeing some people drink it around town, so I decided to try it myself. So this is sweet lemon tea, so I can't wait for that because I'm really thirsty and it's freaking hot because I have to have the air conditioner off because it's blowing right there and we'll you know mess up the sound as far as our snack today we have chocolate twizzlers something that i haven't had before so that's kind of cool i did have the pool and pill kind way back when and something about the pool and pill twizzlers i don't really like it doesn't taste like real twizzlers it tastes like um what is it clay so that's not cool anyways without further ado let's try these chocolate twizzlers right now in your face hole all right kitties are you ready for some twizzlers history well here we go this is the chocolate twizzlers made with real hershey chocolate i wonder why hmm uh this is a product of ys candies incorporated of lancaster pennsylvania which is now a subsidiary of the hershey company there you go um since 1999 twizzlers just like these have been manufactured in memphis tennessee also bubble yum good and plenty Ugh. Icebreakers, breast savers, and stuff of that nature. Uh, the YNS stands for Young and Smiley Company. Uh, they started making these Twizzlers in 1845. The original flavor was licorice, yee, and now they make way more flavors, including strawberry, which is your traditional red ones, chocolate, uh, cherry, and watermelon. Um, Hershey's Food acquired the company in 1977, and they own the Guinness Book of World Records record for the longest licorice twist ever made, measuring over 1,000 feet and weighing over 100 pounds this record-breaking twist was made by them on july 19th 1998 hey let's open this up oh what do you know i have some right there dun, dun, dun. I'm, I'm picking up the cooking show secrets um these are a little bit more uh they i don't want to say flimsy but they move around a lot more bendable than your regular kind they just kind of move with you uh something i noticed right off the bat is that these ends are not pinched so you could go these are straw use ready so let's try them right now all right, now it's time for the taste test and verdict of chocolate Twizzlers. First off, I can tell in the consistency is a lot different than your strawberry or other flavored um, Twizzlers. It doesn't have that delicious plasticky kind of texture. I know that's not a good thing sounding, but it, it does have a different texture than your traditional Twizzlers. It's almost kind of like chewy like this brownie batter they would fall like brownie batter pieces or brownie chewy brownie pieces it's like that it also doesn't taste exactly like milk chocolate hershey bars but you can taste the chocolate obviously but it's really good these don't taste bad at all these are way better tasting than the pull and peel kind i don't really like those i've had them on a couple occasions they just don't really do it for me but these are nice i don't know if i could eat 
as many of these Twizzlers at one moment than I can with the red kind. But because these are a little bit more rich in taste. And they're chewy and good. And I said, as I said, these are pre-cut and not pinched, so these are good for the environment. How you ask? Well, instead of using a disposable straw, there you go. I'm sipping my drink. Maybe like a maybe like a chocolate coke or something. You know, people like those. I'm sipping my drink, I eat my straws, and I'm done. But cho chocolate twizzles are an interesting treat. Um, I don't know if everybody in the world will like them. You can't please everybody anyways, but there's a niche of people they like this kind of stuff. Now I think they would really go um, pretty crazy over the chocolate Twizzlers. They've been around for a while and they do taste pretty good. I like to chew. You chew them they taste like brownie batter. It's great. Alright, I will stop rambling about these guys and try some peace I see because I'm really thirsty after eating this. Alright. Oh, far out, man. Wow, that was kind of lame. Anyways, here's peace tea. I have to hold it like this because obviously if I hold it like this, this can is too big for my screen so I have to use it in widescreen 720p to get the full can in effect. Well this company, the Peace Tea Beverage Company, launched in December 2009. Flavors include this, iced lemon tea, green tea, razzleberry, and Ceylon tea. It, uh, the suggested retail price is only 99 cents. That's, a, that's a really good value because this is a 23 ounce can. It's ginormous. It probably won't fit in your cup holder, but oh, look at this little kid. Anyways, um, it is sweetened with sugar, not high fructose corn syrup, and sucralose, which you might know as Splenda. So that, that might be a little interesting. Uh, you can find this at gas stations, convenience stores, and groceries nationwide. Um, I want to say this is all what I this is all theory. What I'm about to say, it was, it was originally distributed by Hansen's, the uh, makers of uh, the Monster drinks, but it seems to be picked up by Coca-Cola. Um, in Atlanta and have national distribution now. I could be wrong. It was hard for me to find any news on that. Just some rumblings about that from last year. But um, crack it open. It's a nice look. It's got a nice open, big, big opening there for your drinking pleasures. All right. It's got the nice uh, kind of brown, uh, amber color of tea. So that's cool. It's the right kind, like a sweet tea, nothing fancy. Let's uh, try it. All right, here I am with the lemon iced tea from Peace Tea. Um, right off the bat, you're going to notice this can. It's got, it's so crazy. It's got cool quotes on it. Uh, Rise up, a peaceful resistance, unite and tear down the wall. Obviously a pro-liberty, pro-peace tea, obviously. It says 100% natural tea, which, um, you know, just a disclaimer, don't let, you know, don't let the words kind of fool you. I mean, the tea itself is probably all natural, but it is sweetened with sucralose. And I don't know if that's really considered natural, but it does say tea, so just, you know, to keep that in mind. It's got no artificial flavors, no preservatives, and no artificial color. Just, you know, just a quick thing. Uh, not a lot of calories. This whole can, 23 ounces, only 150 calories. Hey, buddy, why don't you get off the table? Okay, sure, why not? Here you are with Peace Tea. What are you doing? Here. Ah, oh, I pulled my pants down. Anyways. This is nice and refreshing. It's not overly sweet. Like, um, I don't know, maybe like Milo's tea or something. It's not like super sweet. That's not the real flavor that is in there. You, it is sweet, but it's not the overbearing flavor. You can definitely taste the lemon, of course. Um, it is good lemon. It's not like a fake lemon taste, like lemon flavoring. That part is really good. As far as the sweetening thing, um, you can tell, I can tell rather, that it's sweetened with sugar and not high fructose corn syrup because it's not syrupy aftertaste and all that. But I can taste the Splenda diet aftertaste. It's not totally, totally um, um, aftertasty like uh, in a drink that's all sweetened with Splenda or artificial sweetener, but it's not bad. Yeah, I think I could drink this whole can though. It's really good though. Um, with this, with the flavoring, um, with the sweetener aside, this is a really good drink. Um, it's refreshing. It's got a nice tart to it. That's not fake tasting and not too sour. It's got the right amount of tea flavor, obviously. It's got the right amount of lemon. And it's got the right amount of sweetener. Um, it just a lot of the calories get cut because of you know the sucralose. It's not too bad though, as far as the aftertaste. It's definitely good. 
Yeah, that hits the spot. So if you see this in the store, this thing, this thing is almost as big as my face head. Only 99 cents. That's a great deal. And plus, I think I'm going to keep this can and for my can collection because it's really sweet. And I'm going to try the other flavors too and um, continue that. But that wraps up the show for this day. Please remember to recycle your cans and plastic bottles after you're done enjoying your beverage. Thank you and visit bevnerd.com. Email me at bevnerd at gmail.com and my Twitter name is bevnerd. Seems to be a common trend. Thank you and good night.